My name is Kostas Karamichos and I am from Zitsa, a small village in the mountain of Epirus in Greece. Zitsa is a really important part of my life. I was born here all my life. I was in the village, so really like this place and really fell in love. Or I am really care about the village. It's something that my parents give to me and to and really appreciate that where am I and what I'm doing, where I live, and it's really it's a really big thing for me, Zitsa and the life here and the last uh, months, the last three, four months, there are a worry for me about Zitsa and about life in the village. Because we learned accidentally that a big company then came to find oil in the area and without ask the local community, without do any conversation with the local, just we saw the cars and start working and destroy the environment around. And for me, this is the most important thing living in a village, the environment, the natural around us, the beautiful mountains, rivers, the water. So we don't want to destroy that for, uh, for the oil. The oil is start to not be so important for the humans anymore and for the climate change also. We're looking for alternative way of energy. So it seems like, yeah, it's not right decision in that environment to come to search for the oil. And will not be any benefit any benefit from all this for the local people, just the company will come, destroy the area and leave and will not have anything after, after this. The company that is responsible for the, in our area is Repsol. It's a company from Spain. Uh, the process of all that, as we learn, is like uh, right now the company they will doing the geophysical research. That means that is about 400 kilometers around in the area. We'll make lines and uh, we'll cut all the trees in that lines and um, make every 50-60 meters holes and put their dynam or dynamite or make explosions and uh, all that is the first step and. After that, we'll see where is the oil or what is the thing. Yeah, we don't know the, exactly what will be the future, but even in that, this will be change the balance of the natural around and the animals, the environment will not be the same after all that. Zitsa is famous for the wine. We produce a very, yeah, we produce a very famous sparking wine. So I don't know if it will be the same after if destroyed the area around to produce that wine. The problem is that the locals, they didn't understand yet what's, how big is this thing for our lives? How can change the, and how dangerous will be all that uh, researches and uh, yeah will not be rich after that we don't take oil at home just the company the company will make it and will take it and sell it to us again it's not something that will there are not any benefits for the locals maybe some people will find work but uh, after a year or a two years will not have work again but will not have also natural again will not have something to do So we try right now to inform the local community, the local society about the dangers of all this, just to present what's the real, the reality background from the oil drilling in the area and all that. In many areas, then there are oil drilling close there. There are a lot of diseases and a lot of. Um, bad things for the health. So we try to inform the people, present them with a small video, to explain them better 
and slowly, slowly grow, uh, growing up the movement of the people that learn about this. Nobody they talk about this. It was a very secret and nobody really says something. We have a Facebook page that is Save Epirus, or we have a website that called saveepirus.gr. Then we can learn the people there more information and see analytics, what's the status and what's going on. Also, they can sign up against that. There are a platform they call Avaz, Save Epirus. All that information there are in our website and, uh, and we try with a different actions. We cooperate with Greenpeace and WWF for that and uh, we want to make more publicity abroad in other countries because it seems nobody knows what's really going on and uh, it's important for us to, to spread the word what's going on uh, what because a lot of travelers they come in the area and when they tell them what's going on in the area they're really surprised and feel bad for that environment to destroy the company for just yeah for yeah for the money